we have filed a lawsuit in the Supreme Court to say three things. One, we need to change the school funding formula because it's not working. Two, we need to get rid of as unconstitutional, last in, first out, uh, termination of teachers. It should be done based on merit. It is unconstitutional, in my view, to do it purely based on seniority. And third, that the Commissioner of Education should have the authority to veto any collective bargaining agreement which has in it things that will diminish a child's ability to get a thorough and efficient system of education. So, you know, if the teachers union is taking a school board for, for a ride, for whatever political reasons are going on in that town, the commissioner of education should be able to come in and say, no, that's going to diminish educational results. We're not going to permit it. That provision is out. Start over. Those are the three things. Finally, someone's suing on your behalf. You've been getting sued for 30 years. And every time they sue, the special interest, they take more money out of your pocket. Now, 33,600 bucks a year in Asbury Park compared to 17,000 here. This has got to change. And it's got to change not just because we want to make the state more affordable, we want to reduce your property taxes. That's one reason. But the second reason is we can no longer abide this bifurcated system we have of getting these great stories in this morning's paper about the second highest graduation rate in America, yet go and tell the parent in Camden that. Go and brag to the parent in Camden that the 96 and three quarter percent graduation rate in New Providence is working great for you. It's not doing a thing for the kid in Camden. It's not doing a thing for the kid in Patterson. You know what we do? We write checks to assuage our guilt. We're failing them and we say, well, it's not our fault. We're writing a big check. What do you want from us? Yet we put handcuffs on educators from getting results by all these rules that are imposed by the union and by members of the legislature and previous governors that make no sense.